So I'm going to paint a picture for you. Um, Bill buys a computer for wholesale. He buys a computer for $700. Okay. He borrows $100 because he has $100. Bucks, so, or sorry, he has $100 and he borrows $600 in a loan. So he borrows 600 bucks from family or friends or whoever he gets it from. He borrows at 10% interest and his payments are five bucks a month. Okay? So he's essentially borrowing it to buy this computer. He then resells his computer to John for $1,100 because he bought it wholesale, right? John, or, uh, John doesn't have the same lead that Bill does. <clears throat> so Bill then resells his computer to John for $1,100, but John doesn't have all the cash either. So John then gives Bill 200 bucks. He says, I have $200 cash. And you can write me an IOU note for $900. OK, so now they're, they both have loans, right? But Bill owes John, sorry, I'm going to make sure I got this right here. John owes Bill more than what Bill owes to his guy, right? So John gives Bill 200 bucks, IOU for 900, 12% interest. So he charges a little higher interest, right? He's going to make a little more spread, right? So now he's receiving $9 and he's paying $5. So he's keeping $4, right? And now what happened was Bill just sold the computer on terms. He sold it on terms as opposed to price. If John had come in with cash, he would have been able to negotiate a bit better, wouldn't he? He could have said, look, I'll give you $900 cash, $800 cash. And Bill might have taken it, because then he knows he can now go buy another one. And he's got a couple hundred bucks. <clears throat> but because he didn't have the money, he sold it to him on terms, right? E easy payments. A lot of vehicles are sold this way, right? They sell you on the monthly payment. Properties are sold the same way. What's my, pro what's my monthly payment, OK? And what Bill is doing is he's making the spread on the loan. That's called a spread. So if we apply this to real estate, we can do this exact same strategy through an agreement for sale. That's what this is called. Now, in the States, it's referred to as a contract for deed or a land contract. You might hear that if you see it on the internet or something. It's essentially the same mechanism. So an agreement for sale is where an owner or seller agrees to sell their property to a buyer on terms for an agreed price payable in the future paid in installment payments. OK, make sense so far? Typically, the payments are monthly, although they don't always have to be. They usually are. So let's take an example here. OK, here's a townhome. 